and identify what is the value, we got to make sure that we look at this graph or looking at the table. We know that when you, uh, when you plug in f of 1, it's undefined. So you just can't plug in 1 and get the value. That's not going to be the limit. The last problem is we could plug that in. It worked all right. But here, again, here's x equals 1. The question of the limit as x approaches c, or as x approaches 1, we're asking what is the limit approaching? What is it getting really, really close to? So let's look at the graphical representation. As we choose x values from the left, getting closer and closer to 1, what y value are we getting really, really close to? What is that y value? It was 3, right? And then as we choose x values from the right, getting really, really close to when x equals 1, the y value, or the output of the function, is getting really, really close to 3. And you guys can see this in the table. As we choose points to the left, right? And we could have done different points, could have done, you know. But as we keep on going to the left, it's getting really, really close to 3. And if you were to plug in 0.999999999, it's going to almost be 3, right? Same thing. As we choose points coming from the right, you guys can see it's approaching 3. So even though at 1 it's undefined, that's not what limits are asking. Is the function defined or not? And again, I'll remind you, the limit is not asking, is the function defined or not? All the limit is asking, what is it approaching? What are you getting very, very, very close to? So we can all agree, looking at the graph, looking at the table, from the left and from the right, because for the general limit to, be, um, to evaluate the general limit, it has to go to the same value from the left and from the right. So as we evaluate this from the left and from the right, this value is getting approaching. It's approaching the value of 3. And that's all you guys would answer. Okay.